Have you ever noticed these zigzag patterns in some jet engines? These sawtooth patterns seen on the rear circumferential end or the trailing edge of some jet engine nozzles are called chevrons. Apart from good looks, they serve a crucial purpose. It is one of the most recent noise-reducing technologies developed by General Electric in partnership with Boeing and shepherded through the research process by NASA. General Electric patented the technology back in 1997. NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, presents Aeronautics and Space Report. Engine noise is one of the major contributors to the overall sound levels of an aircraft in operation. To reduce the noise from all those complex engine components without affecting the overall design or performance is still a topic of research. Jet engines are basically reaction engines which works on the principle of Newton's third law. A jet engine sucks in air, adds fuel and ignites it in a combustor. The controlled explosion results in an exhaust directed out towards the back generating thrust. Early jet engines worked purely on this principle, making them very loud. This noise results from the turbulence created when two different air masses with different speed and temperature interact. The biggest improvement in noise reduction came with the introduction of high-bypass jet engines. In these engines, the turbofan at the front pushes back large volumes of air at a relatively lower speed than the jet exhaust from the core. This reduces noise by 30 to 50 percent. Due to globalization and the rising demand for air transport, especially in overpopulated cities, there are strict regulations governing noise levels. Modern aircrafts are constantly monitored by noise monitoring stations. There are noise abatement procedures and constant descent approaches to be followed. The technology of chevrons takes us one step closer to achieving the goal of quieter jet engines. The chevrons, along with a new fan, achieved as much as a 2 decibel noise reduction for the community on the ground. For passengers on board, the low frequency rumble was reduced by as much as 4 to 6 decibels. Simply put, imagine the flow of cold air from the fan being directed along the shape of the sawtooth pattern of the chevron nozzle as opposed to a regular nozzle where the airflow being thrown back is uniform along the entire circumference, by the very shape of the chevron nozzle, the airflow converges to the center of every sawtooth apex, thereby leaving a gap between each adjacent sawtooth. The principle states that this gap reduces turbulence between the cold and hot air mixing at the back of the engine since the hot air occupies these gaps as opposed to violent mixing. The separate exhausts from the core nozzle and the fan nozzle are high-velocity jets typically having maximum velocity during takeoff operation of the aircraft with the engine operated under relatively high power. The high-velocity jets interact with each other as well as with the ambient air and produce substantial noise along the takeoff path of the aircraft. Furthermore, the core jet is hot and produces an infrared signature which may be detected from afar. The solutions typically rely on vigorously mixing the hot core jet with the fan jet, or ambient air, or both for reducing the velocities thereof and reducing the temperature thereof. By allowing the air mix in three dimensions, where in addition to the existing axial component of the air mixing, a transversal or radial component of the air is allowed to escape through the valleys or slots into the jet stream or bypass stream based on the direction of local differential pressure. Therefore, chevron nozzles constitute a 3D mixing profile where the air interaction path is increased by virtue of the zigzag profile of chevron nozzles. This prevents sudden mixing of two airflows and reduce noise, Sometimes double chevron nozzles are used. In this case, for both the airflow, one coming out of combustion chamber and other coming out of bypass duct will have chevron nozzle. But in this case, both the nozzles will have a pointed section at an alternate location, so that airflows won't mix and produce noise. As hot air from the engine core mixes with cooler air blowing through the engine fan, the shaped edges serve to smooth the mixing, which reduces turbulence that creates noise. The ratio of the number of chevrons to the engine diameter has to be perfect, 
If the number of chevrons are less, it won't have any effect. And too many chevrons will make it louder. The idea of altering the shape of engine nozzles to reduce noise was introduced in 1952, found in a report submitted by two men from the then called UK College of Aeronautics, now known as Glenfield University. At first glance chevrons appear to be an elegant solution, but the simplistic-looking design masks years of experimentation that relied on an ever-evolving set of research tools to correct mistakes along the way. One of the first chevrons were installed in 2003 on a General Electric engine mounted on a Bombardier CRJ-900 aircraft. But they gained traction in 2006 with the introduction of Boeing 787 Dreamliners. The Boeing 747 on the other hand has double chevron nozzle, they have chevrons on both the nacelles and inner core engine nozzles. There are other advantages to this technology. Since noise is reduced, the aircraft manufacturers can cut down on soundproofing installations which are generally heavy. This reduces the overall weight of the aircraft. However, it certainly isn't the most perfect solution. It is said that a chevron nozzle reduces engine performance by around 0.5%. Although it reduces noise, it comes at a cost in terms of drag, weight and therefore fuel burn. Airbus has not adopted this technology in most of their aircraft stating that they haven't got the noise advantage and there is a specific fuel consumption penalty. They focus on using a zero-splice acoustic inner barrel to provide a new level of fan noise reduction. By focusing on insulation and high-bypass noise reduction strategies, Airbus is achieving a similar outcome, without the additional weight and fuel burn associated with the serrated nacelles. Back in 2013, the concept illustrations for the 777X included chevrons on the nacelles, but when the prototype first emerged from Boeing's factory, the chevrons had disappeared. Boeing and General Electric worked together to develop a solution that no longer required the chevrons. Thousands of ground microphones tested the external noise of a 787 as part of the Eco Demonstrator program in 2020. The new oxide-oxide ceramic matrix composite used in the GE9X can withstand higher temperatures eliminating the need for elaborate cooling mechanisms. Safran, an international high technology group, operating in the aviation, defense and space markets, was able to further drive down the noise from the 777X engines. They have applied honeycomb acoustic treatment in strategic areas of the GE9X exhaust system, drilling thousands of holes in the composite skin to disperse and capture noise in the core. However, the commendable works done by NASA led to these developments in this ever-evolving research process. NASA has partnered with the aviation industry many times. NASA continues working with others in industry and academia on a wide variety of technologies, they are currently exploring another noise-reducing technology for the notoriously loud helicopters. It's a bit lengthy topic and we will be discussing it in another video. Noise reduction research is just one of several key investigations underway by NASA's Aeronautics Research Mission Directorate in Washington. These include efforts to improve the intrinsic safety of current and future aircrafts, to improve air traffic control procedures for the next generation air transportation system, and to develop technologies that will enable more fuel-efficient aircrafts with reduced emissions.